Hello YouTube, this is Abril Verma from IoT Connect and today I'm going to show you how you can use one of these IoT Connect devices which you can see right here and connect it, those devices to the internet. Now this is a fairly simple process, it's not very complicated but you should know what are the things you, you can find on this IoT Connect board and how you can operate them. So today I'm going to show you a, you know, a step by step description how you can connect such devices to the IoT Connect website or the cloud services. To set up these devices, you will need this, some wire, something like this, attached with this uh, mail socket. Okay, now first let's have a look over what this device contains. Now, as you can see here, this device has an ESP module connected with this uh, 74HC595 shift resistors and with these two tactile switches. One is the reset for resetting this device and other is a reset to basically put this device to you know setup mode so that you can program it using any of your phone or laptop which I'll going to show you in a minute along with this you will find 8 relays right over here and a power supply which is just below this one and this is the main socket which is basically connecting this power supply and powering these 8 sockets which you can see right here if you can clearly see with in front of each socket you will find these relay numbers right here relay number 8 7 6 5 similarly 4 3 2 and 1 okay now this IoT connect board is coming with these two sensors which is the humidity and temperature which is DHC11 and this light sensor now all this uh, ESP module is already pro flashed with the IoT connect firmware but if you really want to modify this firmware so you can basically use these ports right here which you can see and uh, you can flash this chip using these ports you can attach your own female or male headers if you want to but if you buy it from Amazon you will not find any male or female headers attached it will be coming like this which you see right here along with this you can see this two male header pins basically this is to put this ESP module into programming mode so if you are familiar with the ESP8266 then you must be knowing that ESP8266 ESP to put this uh, chip into uh, programming mode or uh, you know bootloading mode basically we have to short the GPI number 0 so these is, these, uh, this is the way you can do that just put a jumper, jumper over this and uh, this will come into a programming mode now to set this up is fairly simple all, all you need to do is to use one of these wires which you can see right here and you can just you know snap off the tip and connect it to this uh, main power don't connect to any of these you have to connect it to the main power okay I'll, I'll just come back in a minute and I can show you